What do predictive AI, generative AI, and agentic AI have in common? Well, with most platforms, the answer is very little. My name is Jason Miller, Chief Evangelist Principal Consultant here at Creatio, but we are looking at things differently. We are taking a unified approach to AI, having all three patterns in one platform, unlike other solutions where you have different pieces that are bolted on trying to work together. Creatio does this in a holistic approach, democratizing the use of AI from both an agent standpoint, a generative standpoint, and a predictive standpoint. We also do this by minimizing the risk and empowering organizations to quickly and easily adopt all three major patterns and no extra charge to build, manage, maintain, and test your AI needs. Well, I wanna focus on what are AI skills how do you use them and maybe give you some examples of how we're using them in the world of CRM, like sales, service, and marketing. Let's get started. Let's start by taking a look at the AI Command Center. What is the AI Command Center, you ask? It is the central place where you can build and manage your AI skills. Now, next question you might ask, what are AI skills? AI skills are the components, the end-to-end -end journeys that AI is going to take you on. Let's take a look at this. This is an AI skill to create an article. It's made up of a number of things, including the prompts and the actions that make up this overall skill. I also want you to take note how we've captured the amount of tokens that are being used for this skill. Now we can modify or update any skill using natural language as we see here, creating an approval process. Now this AI skill is a combination of a generative and an agentic use case. For example, this particular workflow, if it's an FAQ document, it will go right. If it is a process or a policy, it will go left. And it will use the approval process in an agentic pattern to get the approvals that are required. Now you get to configure all of these things, again, very easy using natural language. This is extremely important to understand. We're talking about the democratization of AI skills. You don't need to be a big data scientist. You don't need to be someone who manages you know, all of these really complex data silos. If you understand the business and you understand what you're trying to do with a little bit of training, you too can build AI skills. So let's look at how some of these AI skills can be used. Let's start with sales. I quickly call up the Creatio AI panel and I can do things like generating summaries of previous engagements in sales with this client. I can, in an agentic fashion, create a new order. Then I can use our basic CPQ or an enhanced CPQ process from our marketplace to quickly and easily generate a quote, adding items to the cart to be able to develop my offer that I'm going to take to my client. Now, this is not part of the AI skill. What's part of the AI skill though is what we're gonna see next. Now that I have my products in my cart, I can engage with AI to do things like recommend products that I should add to this order. And there's a million different reasons why they could be doing that. Sub products, dependent products. You can easily, in an agentic fashion, add those. You can even get a summary of the previous orders and previous discounts that you've offered this client. And then ask AI, what's an optimal discount for this, for this particular deal to make sure that we're getting the sale done? So that is a combination of generative and agentic patterns. What about marketing? How can we use AI in marketing to be, able to, um, to be able to achieve some of these things. Well, let's take a look. Now, from an AI standpoint in marketing, we can do things like create using generative skills, things like landing pages. We can use the no-code tools or generative AI to create all sorts of different landing pages and elements and connect them to our campaign. We also have the ability to use AI to do things like make recommendations, what are some different words or some different phrases that I should use to drive better engagement? Now this applies to things like landing pages, but it also applies to emails. And we're gonna see that right here. Not only can we get into the emails, we can start to look at different bounce rates and we can ask AI to analyze bounce rates, what's causing it, what changes should I make? And you're gonna see that here, right? Analyze this bounce rate, what's going on? What are some of the things? And it'll tell you exactly why some of these things are bouncing and what are some of the steps you can take to increase that delivery rate. Now, there's all sorts of other things we could do here. We could give you recommended titles or changing in content to get better throughput. It's really an unlimited tool on the number of skill sets that you can use. But let's also look at service, case management. Now, what are we talking about here? We're talking about the ability to use AI to do things like, give me a summary of my current case status. What have been the conversations as part of this case? 
We can ask AI to do that, to better inform and empower that service representative. We can also talk about what are some of the things that were discussed in the last communication with the customer. And then you can see, we can even get recommended steps or actions. Now this is great because you're able to develop a playbook, a step-by-step -step playbook, not only based upon your previous knowledge, but based upon all of the retained knowledge or knowledge-based articles that you have. You can also generate emails to drive communication with the client as we just saw. You also have the ability to engage your deposit of knowledge from all your previous cases to make recommendations to do that. You can also use AI for things like intelligent case routing based upon known skills, best fit for the case that you have coming in, regardless of channel that it comes in on. There you have it, AI in action. Now, what you've seen is a combination of predictive, generative, and agentic in some mini snapshots. There's a whole lot more behind this and we could literally spend hours but I've already asked you to spend about eight minutes with us. Hopefully you've learned something and we'll continue this series in at least one or two more parts to help you truly understand the power of AI. We'll see you soon.